the Reverend Sarah Face Meyer Lamb, pastor of Wayside United Methodist Church in Vienna, West Virginia, and pastor of Sand Hill United Methodist Church in Boaz, West Virginia. These words from the 29th Psalm, verses 7 through 11, call us to worship. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. I invite you to lift up to God your joys, your praises, your thanksgivings. I also invite you to lift up to God your concerns. Concerns for self, friends, family, neighbors, your community, our world. And let us pray. God of majesty and power, we come before you with thanks and praise. The mountains tremble and the seas roar at the sound of your name, and yet you are mindful of us. You call us into relationship with you. Help us to remain constant in our relationship with you, constant in our love for you and for our neighbor. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on Jesus and follow in his footsteps. Lord God, hear our prayers for your world and those in it who need wholeness, who need peace, who need a reason to have hope. Hear our prayers for those who have little because of the country of their birth or the social circumstances that prevail. Hear our prayers for those who suffer hunger and thirst. Hear our prayers for those who suffer injustice and war. May you meet their needs through the hearts and the hands, through the caring of your people. Lord, hear our prayers for those that we name before you in the prayers of our hearts. May those who are in pain be comforted, those who are faced with decisions, be filled with your wisdom. Those who are weak, may they be strengthened. Those who are ill, may they be healed. And those who grieve, fill them, fill us with your peace and with hope. We ask these things, O oh God. In the name of our Lord Christ Jesus, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 